Hi everyone, my name is Michael. Today I would like to show how to create uh, characters in Foundry for Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Um, and I'm using as the character creation guide chapter 3 from Player Handbook. Um, so let's start from there. Now this is my home page and I already started on the I'm using as my mass campaign as a backdrop um, if you want to check you can check this background out from uh, drive through RPG left left maps it is quite good now for for starting that I want to start with some basic uh, rules set it up of course you will need the player handbook to guide you and you also need setup so in terms of setup foundry can automate occupation and the character creation points uh, and also calculation of your characteristic however it doesn't uh, calculate based on players age so that's something I uh, have to do manually so to be able to do that starting with the as a keeper so keeper tool and you have to turn on the uh, character creation mode why do i do that i will show you as a blank character so if i press this um, character creation mode there is no development tab but uh, if i did that now there is development that allows me to uh, customize and add numbers. All right, go back and do no oh, decoy press. All right, now the second step is occupations. Uh, occupation is there is an example in the compendium. So if you install the an official Call of Cthulhu system it, within the items. So items example, and you can check the setup. You can check the archetype. You can check the occupational example. So what I would want to do is that for this example demonstration today, I'm going to right click on that import. It will tell me that 9020 setup, detail, characteristic, and skill. And I would create occupational import. So when you can see that there is an example how it would work. But I'm not using that one. I'm just showing you how to import that. You can always um, create yourself. So that's what I did. So in my item directory, I have so far created five occupation already. So that's a lot. Um, and I imported based on the player handbook and I included uh, our description. So for accountant, we have multiply four with education uh, characteristic. Now it is uh, education, credit rating is between 30 to 70. And these are the skill and I can have two additional skill based on that. All right, so what I would do is in the uh, journal, I created a PDF file using um, only the chapter so that I can reference while we, as we speak. So it's slightly, no, no, now it is stable there. And then what I want to do is that I want to open a blank character sheet. Create actor, I would say test actor. Now this is, you can see it is completely blank. I put on there, I'm gonna move this slightly and uh, I click character creation mode. Now development is open and I'm gonna unlock that. So as the next step, what I would do is that I go back into the items. I imported 9020 setup example. 
So I'm going to drag this and drop that. Uh, you can see that you can either multiply that, uh, sorry, to roll the dice, or you could use uh, 450, 460 uh, points total. Either way, you can change that setting. For this, I'm just going to roll that. All right, there are too many dice. I don't know what they are, but I will validate. Um, these are for art and craft. If I want to add any special skill, um, so my character is an accountant, crafting probably not that useful, so I'll just validate. We can always enter these specializations anyway. So clicking for doesn't really change anything. So you don't, you can always change back. I'm gonna unlock this to show you something. So when you unlock that, now these these things are uh, still adjustable, but it is you can't edit, edit them. If you want to edit them, you have to unlock again. Now I have a test actor and mm, relatively well, very high educational, so it makes sense to be an accountant. All right, so let's go to the step. Creating investigator. Step one, we did generate characteristic. Uh, step two. No, it's not done yet. Don't go to step, uh, we have to do age. Now I want my accountant to be of 45 years old. So if 45 years old, so that is in the 40s. I need to make two improvement checks for edu and deduct five points among, so I'll just say 45. Just gonna, uh, gonna click that. So I will do two education check. I'm most likely going to fail. Mm. Sorry, yeah, that is not good. I need to roll above. Uh, yep, that's also not great. So um, all these two improvement checks are pretty much useless. Unfortunately, I also has to deduct five points among strength, constitution and dex. All right, dex seems a lot. I'm just gonna use only dex. I don't want to reduce the other. And then reduce the appearance by 10. Bugger. Uh, where is app? There. So I look less attractive, um, but that's okay. So I did create it based on age. And so I did my characteristic. I did um, age adjustment. And in the book, it mentioned what do they mean by the numbers. damage, bonus, and build. These are automatically calculated in the system. Hit points. So hit points, if I um, click this here, the, you can see hit points is um, 11. So this is the normal rule. Uh, it's automatically um, calculated. So how do you add calculate hit point? So you add con and size. So con is 40, size is um, 50, 75. So it is that 115 uh, divided by 10. So it's 11.5, it became 11. Movement rate is automatically calculated. How do you do? Depends. So if strength and dex are less than size. Now, if, however, here strength is, uh, is low, size is big, so it is uh, seven. Mm, if both, and then, oh, sorry, the I got the movement of eight, but um, because of I'm 
in the 40s automatically detect so occupation now uh, I have for that I need to turn back on the um, character creation mode unlock that and I already created an accountant all right what I do I drag this and I drop that you can see that automatically show me what uh, personal skill hmm that is I would say um, this person is quite good at occult and uh, maybe ch very charming uh, personal point is quite interesting uh, I believe it is based on your uh, twice of intelligence now so yes personal interest is twice intelligence and I got the 130 and occupation I got 360 so I need to spend these numbers how do I do that I click on development tab and I can change that so um, my credit rating is has to be at least 30 so I can take up let's say 40 um, and then yeah, sorry I should not add that to it uh, I need to open that a little bit more now so I will start with um, let's say accounting occupation you can put over there it is personal this is occupation and this is experience so um, I want to add uh, experience sorry credit rating I have to use from personal and then it automatically done and I can use my occupational skill let's say I'm extremely good 75 it thinks there are 360 days a lot but mm. if you have to spread out it's not much left uh, law I would add 40 library use 40 listen 40 so the the reason that is gray instead of white is because it is important for my occupation skill persuade Now this is by no mean I only have 40 left um, the I'm not optimizing and I don't even optimize my characters so now I got all the occupation points done and then I would go to now if you think that you don't really need to use the counting skill that much you can reduce that by 55 and I can spend Hmm, maybe more charming if I add 40 and then that's up so I still have 90 points to spend um, now what do we go with uh, we can spend on hmm if, if you're outdoor person 20 um, always useful with psychology spot hidden is 45 I can work with that a little bit want to be stealthy uh, if I spend that you can't you can see that it's not even much so that is done and because I use my credit rating too hmm, maybe if I want to be only five I still have another 25 well 35 to spend so where do I go with that I want to be a history nerd okay and after that so the keeper has to turn that on uh, I created my first character um, gender doesn't really matter uh, these are 
you can add weapons based on your gear and cash. So your cash and assets are already calculated based on your credit rating. So my main skill would be accounting. So 55. All right. So the rest is the more important stuff. All the number crunching is done. So the rest is about how you would create a interesting character with um, a few hooks for yourself and your keeper to role play and your other players to role play with. So um, this is how you do it. So that's quite straightforward. Um, now, how, do, how long did I take for my recording? So 15 minutes I was demonstrating. So if I'm quicker, I could do that in five minutes. So that's pretty fast. Um, and the good thing is that you can create the same thing for pulp characters and you can customize the set of example. You can change to like here uh, to different time period, cut to the flavors. Um, and you can also um, have different roles to, for example, here, characteristic, you can use points like 460. Uh, you can easily add 500 and you can change that to Pulp Cthulhu. Sorry, oh, let's do 550. And that will allow you to have different setup. All right, so if I do that, um, let's see what happened. So you can see that it is, uh, I can adjust manually, but um, so how do I increase that? Let's say I'm 70. And I still have 35, so uh, 80. Now it's automatically validated. And if I enter it again, it will overwrite the previous character I created. So, well, this is much it. And I hope you find this video useful. Um, and if you have any feedback, you can write on the comment section. And if you like the video, please click like and subscribe. And that will be very useful for me. Bye-bye. Have a good afternoon.